Hey kids, it's time for another episode of Kitty Cat Gaming with your host, Mortimer! KKG! KKG! Yay! Hey everybody, and welcome back to another exciting episode of Kitty Cat Gaming. Today I am playing Animal Crossing New Leaf, and I'm showing you guys all of my houses and getting my town ready for the new update that's coming soon. Um, I don't think they've said an uh, exact date yet when it's dropping, uh, but they have said that once it drops, all of the weeds will disappear from your town. And to tell you the truth, I haven't come across any weeds in my town, just clovers. So I think they might have already done that update. Like, maybe it's just done. Like, there's no more weeds to deal with, which is would be a great thing. Because all it did was make me feel bad and make me not want to play the game. Because I'd have to spend, you know, 20 minutes to 30 minutes just pulling weeds from my town. And that's just a huge pain. Uh, I think you can also hire... Uh, the gardener to come and do that for you. Uh, I think it's in a certain subtype of town as well. You can have the townspeople help you do it. Wow, this room is completely packed. You can't even walk in. I need to expand to this room. Uh, this is the ranch style set. Wow. Yeah. All right, that room, we can't even go in it. Porter's Delight. Uh, so this is the living room. It looks like a 90s paper cup. <laughs> uh, and we're missing the back bedroom. This house isn't even fully expanded yet. I guess I have a place to put new furniture now that this new game is out. Well, coming out. Uh, and upstairs, what do we got? Oh, the minimalist bedroom set, as well as two Happy Home Association trophies and a shrunken T-Rex. So cute. Uh, but no wall art and no flooring. Yeah, this house needs some love. Uh, but yeah, that's my third house. It's not done yet. Uh, but yeah, you guys can see I play multiple characters. I have a lot of fun with this game. I don't know. All right, so let's gather up more flowers and get rid of all of the clovers we can find. And get those out of the way. And we'll just have a relaxing time, you guys. Where is my shovel? Is it gone? Oh, I must have put it down in my house. Did I really? I did. That's okay, we'll find it. I have the gold watering can too. I think you get that from having a good town. I don't remember if it's like the old games where you have to like bury something by the fountain, and like come back in a couple days and dig there and you'll find the watering can. Yeah, that was a thing you had to do once. Talking about crazy things in games. Here's a nice little meditation stone. We didn't really look at the beach much. I think I have some tiles on the beach. I might have like a cute high gaming clock. I think I did. Or else maybe I saved the QR code so I could put it there later. Let's go see. Yeah, there it is. Look at that. It's a cute little kitty to match the sand. That's for kitty cat gaming. Yeah, I drew that in the sand. It's so cute. Oh my gosh. I got all these banana trees. There's another one. I think I also have another video up on here that explains how to do the QR codes in your town as well, if you guys want to check that out. That is also available. Oh, so you can pick up all these seashells and sell them. Uh, but I usually like to save my time for selling fruit or bugs because bugs are where the money is at. I also have another video uh, explaining how to make the most bells in Animal Crossing possible. Uh, so you should check that out as well if you're just starting. Which I imagine this update that they're doing is gonna bring in a lot of new players uh, who maybe like wanted to play before but like didn't have the money at the time or didn't have the time. Uh, and now, you know, they have a fresh chance to start new again. I think a lot of people are probably even gonna be starting new towns. Which would be fun to consider if I didn't already have so much work put into this one, getting all the different types of fruit and everything. But, oh shoot, what if there's new types of fruit in this new town? I mean, this new update. I don't know. Or we get like grapevines and stuff. How cool would that be? Yeah, I, I would be very happy with that. I gotta find my shovel. Alright, let's put down these flowers.
We gotta wait till 10 a.m. so we can do our hair. That's kind of a bummer. I wish we could move around while we have this menu open. That would save a lot of time. And there's species there. Yeah, you can also catch fish. Uh, let's go check out the museum. I don't know if I've shown that to you guys yet. I'm pretty sure I have a full museum and uh, uh, art gallery. Oh, I see you again. Mean boon. Get it? Baboon? Oh my god. Cracks me up. This game is awesome. I also love Happy Home Designer. Uh, I have some new cards to do houses with, but my copy of Happy Home Designer corrupted itself. I don't know what happened. I tried to put it in my DS, but it won't play. Uh, so I think I have to get a new copy of that to film those episodes for you guys. Uh, so let's check out all my dinosaurs. Uh, and I think I have all of them. Maybe I'm missing one or two, but I think I have a complete set which is so much time investment to get all of these. If that shows you how dedicated I am to Animal Crossing. I also did an Animal Crossing brand deal on my channel Mortimer, uh, where I show you how to make your own fake bug display uh, inspired by catching bugs in Animal Crossing. I don't know, I thought that was really cute too. And uh, no real bugs were used in it, so you can do it from home. Yeah, this is like all completed. So yeah, I think I did go whole hog and get all of this done. I love all these little resins up here and things though. So cool. Love it. Do you guys have like a finished uh, museum? Do you have all your pieces all done? Once you get like a full set like this too, you can uh, keep it in your pocket and then go to um, the, the llama that makes stuff for you and he can make the miniature scale version for your house. You have to have all of the pieces. Uh, so yeah, that was all of the dinosaurs. I have all of them. I.e. I'm a nerd. Uh, let's check out our bugs. I think I'm missing some bugs, right? Maybe I did get them all. Uh, I mean, I guess it'd be really hard to check that I have them all. I mean, you can look at some of the trees and see if there's some empty trees. Yeah, we'll go backwards on this one. Mm, yeah, I think I'm missing a beetle there because they're supposed to be fighting on the tree stump. And all of these trees have beetles on them. Oh, there's a little leaf bug. So cute. Uh, yeah, I think I, I have most of them. I'm missing that one for the tree stump. I don't know what kind it was. I'd really have to, like, look up and see what it looks like when it's complete. Oh, gross! The ants! Ugh, I hate ants. I love all bugs, but I hate ants. Uh, so, yeah, I'm missing one on this tree is a fruit tree. I'm missing a fruit tree beetle. Got a flower beetle, goliath beetle, some cicadas. Or cicadas, depending on how you say it. What are they eating? Some kind of fruit. Uh, so yeah. Some of those are expensive beetles too. Sometimes it hurts to give beetles to the museum because you know how expensive they are. Uh, and yeah, these are all butterflies in here. Oh, we've already been in here. We've seen the whole bug area. Yeah, this area, this side looks kind of empty. I think we're missing some stuff over here. And there's a little honeybee. Usually you have to fight them away from you because they'll sting you. And you get a swollen face and it's terrible. Uh, oh, and our fish. Uh, so I, I seriously am lacking in the fish department. I don't really catch many fish in this game. I don't know why. It's kind of my least favorite activity, but maybe this time around I'll get really into it and go crazy and catch all of the fish. Maybe that'll be my new mission. I'll flounder. <laughs> sitting area. 
Oh shoot, we'll have to bring Hulk Commander Holly back on the show and maybe we can both show each other our new revamped towns. That'd be a cute video. I'd love to have Commander Holly back on. All right, well, that was that. I don't even remember what's in my museum anymore. Cause like you can have your own uh, museum exhibits upstairs. And I think I had all gyroids up there. So yeah, I did. I hardly have any paintings too, because it's just so hard to like tell which ones are fakes and which ones are real, and uh, you can only buy them like once a week. Uh, so let's see. I think one's Nintendo goods, one is gyroids. I think two are gyroids, and then one is like fruits. So okay, so this room is all the Nintendo collectibles you could get in the game. Uh, you would get them by buying uh, lucky tickets in the shop, and then you can exchange them for Nintendo prizes. Um, and I think I got most of them, if not all of them. Uh, really cool if you're a Nintendo fan. Uh, let's see, what do I got in the next room? I think this room is a gyroid room, number one. Yep, I got the muddy floor. It's called the excavation floor and wall. Um, but I think it fits this room really well because you have to dig them out of the ground. Each of them makes a different noise. Love them. Kind of creepy. <laughs> uh, I think I have two of those rooms. Let me see. I'm pretty sure that top room on the right is the fruit room. Where I keep like uh, one of each type of fruit just in case something happens and I need to replant some trees. So I have all the seeds just in case. There's so many of those. I don't even think I have half of them. There, there's like a zillion of them. And they really don't even serve a purpose. It's just kind of weird. Yeah, and this is the fruit room. And I, oh, I have minerals in here too. Check it out. Cool. All these one of a kind objects. Are these pr perfect fruits too? I'm not sure. Nah. But I do have perfect fruits in my town. I'm glad they don't go bad. Uh, but yeah, that's kind of like a tour of my town. I'm gonna go around and revamp all of the QR code tiling I have on the ground. Um, I'm gonna try and update my houses and sell all of the fruit and organize my flowers so that I'm ready for the town update. Uh, so I got to do some of that with you guys today. I'm glad I got to do that. Uh, but I still have so much more work ahead of me. Uh, so let me know what you guys think down below. Please be sure to hit that subscribe button so you guys don't miss it. And be sure to get out your copies of Animal Crossing New Leaf so we can all play the new update together. I'm so excited for it. Um, and I'll see you guys all next time. Bye, everybody!